Hi. You have most likely heard this many times. We are living in a globalized world. While people have been interacting with others across different cultures for centuries, today, more people are doing so than in the past. And in today's global business world, many will find themselves interacting where intercultural communication skills are very important. Developing cross-cultural or intercultural understanding is essential if you want to communicate successfully when conducting business in a foreign country. Developing intercultural communication skills is necessary to establish good interpersonal relations with people and to communicate effectively when cultural differences might exist. But before we get to intercultural communication skills, we need to ask this question. How do you define a culture? The word culture can mean different things in different contexts. For example, how would you define Chinese culture to North Americans? How would that definition differ for a Chinese resident in New York or Shanghai? When we talk about culture, are we talking about national culture, ethnic culture, institutional culture? How much does geography play a role in defining a culture? What about values and beliefs? As you may guess, it may not always be easy to define a culture because most cultures are too complex and change over time to have a generalized definition. Regardless, it's still important for us to have an idea about what the word culture means for the context of this course. For starters, let's look at how some different scholars have defined culture, some of them being quite different and for different purposes. Many researchers often refer to Hofstede's work on cultural dimension theory. For example, when trying to understand cross-cultural communication. In his book, Culture's Consequences, he defines culture as the collective programming of a mind which distinguishes the members of one human group from another. Culture, in this sense, includes systems of values, and values are among the building blocks of culture. Other scholars in communications like to refer to Edward T. Hall's iceberg model of culture. Hall's iceberg model of culture suggests people only see a few elements or behaviors of a particular culture and the major essence of any culture is hidden from the general public. This may be a good start, but it still does not explain the context of how a culture exists. Quite often, it is the context and the relationships within that context that defines a culture. Melanie Mole, in her book, The Quintessence of Intercultural Business Communication, uses this definition. Culture is the meaningful way in which people act and interact in their social contexts with one another. Mole also identifies what we call cultural patterns, the ways in which people in a culture interact, socialize, and relate to one another and their surroundings. But, again, because culture is so complex, it is important that people don't overgeneralize when identifying cultural patterns. This is what is called stereotyping. Having an understanding of the complexities of cultures and the cultural patterns within them are important if you are to develop intercultural communication skills. It's not an easy task. Misunderstandings, overgeneralizations, and stereotyping can occur, which have a negative impact on any communication. So what might be included in intercultural communication skills? Well, you may need to understand the impact of directness or indirectness of speech, turn-taking norms within a culture, orientations to power, roles and relationships in face-to-face -face communication, impact of nonverbal communication, environment where communication takes place, values and beliefs within the culture, attitudes of the people within the culture, and worldviews generally held by a culture. 
This list is not exhaustive and there could be other elements you need to be aware of when participating in cross-cultural communication. We'll explore some theories and the idea of cultural dimensions and how they can help inform people when participating in cross-cultural communication in a business setting.